Jay Burrow is one of the 30 million people in the world who suffers from diabetic ulcers, an open and painful sore that can be costly and difficult to treat. In May of 2007, Jay heard about a novel approach to treating those ulcers. Dr. Jennifer Eddy at the UW Health Family Medicine Clinic in Eau Claire used honey on the wounds. It's been known to have tissue healing properties since the time of ancient Egypt. It's been used in wounds. And actually, when I was in medical school, my pathology professor wrote a book about uh, ancient techniques used in different cultures, and he wrote that of all the techniques that he had observed and studied, that uh, topical honey was the only one that actually worked in the lab. How are you? Oh, fantastic. Jay is participating in a clinical trial run by Dr. Eddy that will attempt to measure the success of honey as a topical treatment for diabetic ulcers. I thought I'll try anything. It works, it works. Dr. Eddie originally used honey on a patient with non-healing diabetic ulcers who was told he needed to have his foot amputated. He refused the amputation, so Dr. Eddie used the honey as a last resort. Once we started using honey, he, he didn't have any complications and, and his ulcers really healed. That success was the springboard for Dr. Eddie's rigorous randomized double-blind study. Patients won't know if they're getting honey or a topical treatment that looks and smells like honey. Jay believes he got the honey because after several treatments, he saw a difference in the wound. It went from a fairly good size hole in my foot and just kept shrinking and shrinking on down. The added advantage of honey is it seems to be immune to the superbugs that normally develop a resistance to antibiotics. Because it's applied topically and because its mechanism of action is at least threefold, and there may be more mechanisms we don't know about, um, it's very hard for bacteria to develop resistance to it. So my patient, he had, I guess, two of the really bad superbugs, and those were eradicated by the honey. If honey is proven effective, it could be an extremely cost-effective treatment to a problem that costs billions of dollars annually. A person loses a leg to diabetes somewhere in this world every 30 seconds. There really is an epidemic, and as diabetes increases and amputations increase, we really need to find effective strategies to prevent it. Patients interested in participating in the study can call 715-855-5683. Patients must be older than 18, have diabetes, a sore below their knee, and not be taking prednisone.